CTV family. Catch us live on your TV screens. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We promised you people who are really, really doing amazing, incredible things to make sure that we are changing Africa. As you know, it is Freedom Day, so we are celebrating it right here at the Grand Africa, and we're celebrating it with Africa Rising. Now, joining me right next, like literally, as you can see, probably like Ronnie, we see there's a person next to you, so why are you telling us? I gotta give him the intro that he deserves, ladies and gentlemen. He is the organizer of Rising Africa, this incredible event, and I'm sure he does so, so much more than he's gonna be telling us in this interview. But Craig Wright, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Listen, I am, I'm always such a huge fan of people who not only say, you know what, we're actually gonna make sure Africa rises, but do something about it. Can you tell me what is Rising Af Africa Rising all about? So Africa Rising is about telling inspiring African stories mm -hmm. through music and entertainment. Yeah. And uh, we were actually going to do this as a separate um, uh, project yeah. before uh, COVID hit. And then um, when COVID hit, we decided we needed to move it into a space, a more of a digital space. Yeah. So we, this is a this is a part. This is like an event, yeah. but it's attached to Africa Rising. The whole the whole thing behind Africa Rising is actually doing a live stream yeah. from uh, with like iconic. Uh, in iconic venues with um, legendary South African artists and African artists. Yeah. So we chose Robin Island as our first event. Yeah. And um, we did a collaboration with Master KG, mm -hmm. the man behind uh, Jerusalem, as you yes, know. Yes, yes. And then Lobby Youth Choir, who were uh, like the darlings of the South African music. They killed, and it, it. They killed it at, at America's Got Talent. Yeah. So we, we did a coll collaboration with them. We, we essentially busking to the world. Yeah. It's a free live stream. And we streamed it, uh, streaming from Robin Island. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, like people can go on and watch it if they enjoy it yeah. and they can donate. If they want to watch it for free, it's about us yeah. also showcasing our talents and, yeah. and, uh, and, our, and our beautiful country that we live in. I love that. And speaking of talent, I mean, talent comes with so much freedom and you are able to express yourself. Why do you think it was important to do it through music? I mean, there's so many ways you could have done it through it. There's so many different platforms people can reach other people with. But why was it important, especially for Africans? We love music. So do yeah. you think that's the key uh, connecting thing that connects us to music? Yeah, definitely. I think music tells, I mean, like, you, it's, it's your, your timeline of your life. Yeah. You know, like you can have moments when you are, are, are depressed. Yeah. And music will uplift you. Yeah. You know, you can have moments of joy and yeah. it's your celebration. Yeah. You know, you think back when they sang Waka Waka earlier. Yeah. It takes you back to the World Cup. Yeah. So it, it just, it just, it just, it's, it's memories. And, yeah. it's, and it's something that's always been there and it's always been there for you at your darkest times. Yeah. And at your best times. Yeah. And the music industry has really been struggling through this whole um, pandemic. And I think it's about, you know, like fans and everyone just getting behind mm. the artists that are struggling and just you know like our whole campaign is feed our crew yeah. and it's about giving back but it's also not only the musicians it's the technical crew behind the scenes the yeah. guys that do the sound the lighting the staging so those are also very important people to like, bring these things to life and i wanted to ask you why was it important for this organization or this event to happen right now why uh, did you figure out okay i mean it was supposed to happen before covid but then yeah. covid hit and then I, I think there was a bigger need for it to happen in this time yeah. how did how did that start about in you i think everything in happens for a reason it's like we were literally gonna announce and do this and uh, we want to take this all over africa so yeah. we want to go to beautiful locations we're going to go to uh big falls next and we've got uh um, Kenya and the Maasai Mara lined up. Yeah. It's also about showcasing how beautiful Africa is and it's a place that you need to come and visit. Yeah. And um, I think, you know, it's actually, the timing has been perfect. It's also like celebrating Africa, African talent, African culture, African yeah. arts and music. And, uh, and uh, I think it's, you know, like sometimes things happen and, you know, like, yeah, we are. And, yeah. and, 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 it's, and it's happening now and it's fantastic. And I just hope everyone gets involved and it uh, supports us through the donation yeah. platform. I love that. And I was speaking of, I was just literally, just, that was my next question. You're reading my mind. How can people get involved? Let's say, I'm just someone who's watching right now and I want to get involved. I want to see Africa rise indeed. And I want to join this incredible organization. What do I do? So what you can do is you can go on to wearafricarising.live. Yeah. You can donate there. Yeah. The beautiful thing you can donate is a little C around. Oh, really? And the nice thing is that you... Every, every donation that you make, yeah. you get an opportunity to win this expense. So you can come with us to Robben Island oh. and you can watch and see the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. You can meet the artists, you spend the whole weekend with them. So wherever we go in Africa, you, keep, you, you donate and you can potentially win this amazing experience. But the most important thing yes. is obviously the cause. Yeah. So for, for now, we are, we are focusing on the events industry, yeah. feed our crew and um, 
where we, where, wherever we move in, in, in the, on the continent, we'll, we'll have a CSR project that we're getting involved in. Right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you want to make sure that you get involved. Can you give me those websites really quickly again? So it's weareafricarising.live. Yeah. Yes, weareafricarising.live. Make sure you hop on that and we will see you after this. Right now, though, I feel like it's very important for us to check out what is happening with Mona Lisa and Kailicha at Ghetto Sessions. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Mona Lisa, baby girl, what's up? Hi. My name is Azula Fuane, aka Chamberlain. Um, what I don't enjoy about our freedom is that, like, yo, there's a lot of assets, access in alcohol because everybody's drinking, even the underage. So, like, I, I grew up in, a, in an area where, like, you were not allowed to drink. But nowadays, you see kids drinking, and, like, the people who sell alcohol, they also, like, allow kids to, to enter the, the club and, and stuff, you know. So, and that is how they're celebrating their freedom air ghetto sessions Love in Kaili Child. Do let us know. While you're celebrating your freedom, we love hearing from you. It is XA underscore live across of all our social media handles. That number 2021 448-0448. What's up, Hale? 60 Listen, I'm just so excited to be here. We posed a question to you guys on our social media pages. What does it mean to be free to you? And are you actually using your freedom responsibly? Do you think freedom is a good thing or a bad thing? Please do let us know on our social media pages. It is Extend Score Live on Twitter as well as on Instagram as well as Extend Live on Facebook. But right now, though, we promised you to be at the VNA and we are right where we're supposed to be at Africa Grand and speaking to one of the lovely humans who are going to be here today telling us his views on what it means to be free in South Africa. Libuani, welcome to XN. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah, 27 years of freedom. Do yes. you feel entirely free as a young South African? Yes, um, I do. Uh, so there is the freedom that we are enjoying now. Uh -huh. Being able to be at a VNA, where previously it was uh, only selected for a few individuals. Yeah. The five percent, as I like to call it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Carry on, I'm amused. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm very. It's ecstatic to be here. Yeah. Uh, we still have a long way to go as a group. Yeah. Um, we still have to get our our freedom, yeah. which is the economical freedom. Yeah. You come to places like this. Uh, you are in an aeroplane. You are. You go to very exclusive places. And you find it's still the five percent that occupies such places, mm. and where the the, the as the ninety five percent are still uh, cannot afford to be in such places. So we still need to fight uh, for our economical freedom, yeah. so that we are able to be in places where we should be and enjoy our country in full. Yeah. Not only reserved for the elite or the 5%. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I just want to ask you, speaking of freedom, there's so many people that actually died for us to be able to have this freedom. Who are some of your favorite, I'm going to do a young history test, who are some of your favorite heroes? Well, actually, give me one. Who is the one person where you're like, ah, this person really fought for South Africa, I believe in it. And what did they do that is so unique? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, so you'd have your Solomon Machlango. Uh -huh. Sure. Uh, Robert Sibukwe, mm -hmm. uh, Charlotte Matleke, yeah. who are some of my favorite heroes. Yeah. Unsung, well, they are sung, but, but yeah, not enough. they are not up there with your Malen Mandelas and Oliver Tambo mm. and um, the elites. Yeah. But they are, very, they are heroes that fought for this country mm -hmm. and they went through the struggle properly. Mm. What does Lubuani do to ensure that every other young South African Actually, let me not put young in it. Um, every South African is enjoying the freedom that we were promised 27 years ago. Yeah. Um, what I try to do is I try to employ as much young uh, uh, people yeah. so that they have financial freedom. Yes. Um, that's yeah. what I try to do. I try to employ, when I employ, yeah. I look at an age limit. Yeah. To say, I'll always look at youth. Yeah. I don't look at experience, because experience, you'll get it when you are working in. I love that. I try to look at, how, at the youth and ensure that I employ young people yeah. and make sure they get the economic freedom to give back. Because, to give back. because when you employ an individual who is 25 years old, yeah. 
he will have to look after his siblings that yeah. are coming yeah. before him yeah. and take them through to school, um, make sure that they become someone. Yeah. So that's what I do. Oh. I, I, I do it in that manner. Sound like an amazing, great man. Shout out to you. If people want to stalk you and they're like, yeah, the team, since you talked about jobs, I'm going to ask for a job. <laughs> I'm joking. Just your social media handles really quickly. Um, so Twitter, it's at PPD. Uh, that's a village I come from in Limpopo. Yeah. Uh, and Facebook, it's Libwani Mugondo. And uh, my company is Ronewa IT Solutions. Uh, website is www.ronewa.co.za. Ladies and gentlemen, Lubuani over here. And Yay. what are you doing over there? Do hear us up. Hashtag Freedom Day. Hashtag XA. Hashtag Everything Fabulous. Right now, we want to find out what do you like or dislike about the freedom that we were promised. My name is uh, Koki the King uh, from the books, Machocho Mengla, Okina Port, South Africa. Um, what I enjoy about the Freedom Day is actually the fact that we can come together as a rainbow nation and share spaces like we've never had the chance to do that before. But nowadays we can share the spaces and become one. CTV family.